the Worcester County Health Department, in partnership with the Worcester County's Healthiest Maryland Businesses, presents monthly nutrition tips and fitness fit videos. These videos will feature simple and fun activities and recipes you can try at home. Our goal is to promote healthy eating and regular physical activity, which can reduce the risk for chronic health problems, such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and remember to eat healthy, be active, and prevent diabetes today. Hi, I'm Kathy Wolf from the Worcester County Health Department, and today my guest is Annette Powell from the Worcester County Board of Education. Today we're going to make avocado quesadillas, which is a great way to use one of those new superfoods that's out there, the avocado. Now one thing about the avocado is when you buy them, you want to make sure they're just soft to the touch when you buy them, because if you have them too soft, they'll turn brown inside. Nutrients in the avocado are closest to the skin, so the best way to get an avocado out is to run your finger all around the rim of the skin of one half and put it in your bowl. You're going to discard the pit that's in the middle and then we will do the other half of this avocado right in the bowl. Because the idea is to put all your avocado in a bowl and mush it up and then use it in the quesadillas. Now we're just going to smash this avocado to get it of a nice consistency. While Annette cuts a lime for me, what we're going to do is add a little lime to the avocado because it prevents it from discoloring. So you'll just get a fork, or sometimes I even use an old potato masher, and that kind of keeps it uh, in a consistency that you can spread when you're making this quesadilla. But if you don't have a potato masher, let me tell you, that fork works just as good. You can see that I'm getting this nice and soft and making it into like a spreadable mixture. And as soon as you've got that lime in it, let's add it right in here, and I'm going to stir it in. And that lime adds a nice flavor as well as keeping it from turning brown. The next step in our avocado quesadillas is, is to spread this avocado on each of the whole wheat tortillas, which is a great way to add a little more fiber to your diet as well. Okay, Kathy, what kind of ingredients are we going to add to these quesadillas today? That's a great question, Annette, because they're very versatile. You can really add anything that you like, and I have put an assortment of things here just to try. I've got some black beans, but you know, if you don't like black beans, you can use kidney beans, any other bean that you like. If you're using the canned bean, I just drain them and rinse them off so all the sauce isn't on there. But I've got some sliced tomatoes, I've got some red onion that's been diced, I've got some chicken, I've got some low-fat mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of cilantro for flavor, and of course, there's some salsa if you like that as well. How about, could we add some sour cream if you chose to? Absolutely. You know, they make sour cream low fat, so that's a good addition to keeping it a healthy uh, option for you. The other thing I use sometimes is the fat-free yogurt, which will also add some calcium and give it the same kind of a flavor. But you know, the avocado is really a great addition to a diet if you're trying to plan a healthy diet. It's only got 50 calories per an eighth of an avocado, so it can be sliced into salads, um, it can be eaten plain, it's full of monounsaturated fats which help prevent heart disease. So it's really a great uh, food to put together and most of these are pretty low calorie and pretty tasty. So let's get started and do okay. quesadillas. All right, we're going to start with the first quesadilla. I'm going to put a little bit of the spread on here. And you can put this on here to your liking, how little, how much you want. Just spread it thin around half of your, your tortilla. That way when you heat it up, you'll have it on one half. So it's spread here. I'm going to add a few tomatoes to this just to give it that nice, um, well, gosh, it's colorful. It's going to have a nice flavor with that as well. Let me see, I think I'll add a few of the red onions to this one because we're going to keep it a vegetarian quesadilla. That way, if you do have any people that are trying to stick to that regimen, you're good for go. I'm also going to put some black beans in here. Looking good already, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can smell these ingredients and they make it look so fresh. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is some cilantro, which is a great addition to any kind of a food like this. It's a great herb. Um, you can buy it year round. And I've just cleaned off that cilantro um, and put it in a dish. And the last thing is a little bit of the low fat cheese. And that's the only thing you're going to want to go sparse on because that's the one that will add those calories and fat a lot quicker than anything else. And I'm going to leave the salsa off in case somebody wanted to add it when it's done, they can do it when it's finished. The next uh, quesadilla I'm going to make is a chicken quesadilla. First we're going to add the avocado. We spread it on half of the tortilla. And then we're going to add some tomato. This one looks just as good. 
And I'm gonna add some chicken on mine. And that's a nice lean chicken, you know, if you just grill your chicken breast and have it ready to go, it can be used any time. And then we're going to add the low-fat cheese. And mine's all done. The last step to these delicious quesadillas is to heat them up so the cheese melts. So I have a skillet that's warm. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And don't forget, using olive oil is the best oil to use because it's the lowest in saturated fats and the highest in monounsaturated fats. So as you can see, I'm just coating the top to keep it from sticking. You don't want to have a lot of oil in here and you're just going to get it warm. Then you're going to take your quesadillas and we're going to fold them in half. Okay, this is a tricky step because you don't want to lose your ingredients, but you're just going to lift it gently into the pan. And Annette, I'm going to step back and I'll let you put yours in there. And you're just going to leave them on the griddle or in a skillet. You can also do these on the top of your stove. Just keep your heat low. We're only trying to warm up the cheese and get it to melt, and then we'll be done. And then we'll just put them on the plates, cut them, and we'll be ready to eat them. They look really good, and they smell good. They smell mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. All right, Annette, I think these are done. I hear them sizzling. We're going to take these out and get them on the plates. There's the first one and the second one. There we go, they're just warm to the touch. All right, let's just cut them in half so the viewers can see what they look like inside. I'll let you cut yours. And you can see that they're just a nice, they're just warm to the touch. Cheese is melted, everything's in there ready to go. Looks really good. So enjoy those avocados. Remember, they're low in sodium, low in cholesterol, they're a little higher in monounsaturated fats, which are good for you because they lower heart disease. All in an effort as part of a healthy diet. So, eat healthy, be active, prevent, prevent diabetes, diabetes today. For more information, call the Prevention Office at 410-632-0056 or you can visit our website at worcesterhealth.org.